Greg and I got a splat. I bought one from Plyville. And I asked you to go vote for the state senate. You should vote for me because I have a track record of providing the injury and the time to be able to get the job done. Long before I was in the legislature, I served many hours working for the better of this community. I served on the school board, bank commission, the zoning board of appeals, the tax equalization board, and many civic and professional organizations. All of this volunteer work give me a wealth of knowledge of local government. You combine that with my years of experience in the legislature and the knowledge I've gained about state government. It positions me to where I can walk into the Senate and be a player immediately and not have to go through the training uh, in, in the education process. Early in the season, I was thinking with a retired teacher. She had what she could get. But I asked her, I said, could you imagine what it would be like bringing someone in for a classroom to teach? She said, not had four years of college, not had any training, not had any preparation. So often, we elect people to come in just like that person would walk into a classroom with no education, training, and no preparation. I can provide this district with good leadership. I what we have known for such ten years at this time. We've been very successful because we've had a, a very cohesive delegation to work together in Atlanta and it has allowed us to maximize our funding for Wiregrass Technical College, Dot State College, and provide the other local benefits for us to go. We talk a lot about bringing you into the economic development into this area. Well, my observation is it's a lot more productive to work with expanding the existing industry and we're bringing more jobs up a whole lot less. And we need to put the biggest of our focus on having our existing industries grow and expand. One of my number one priorities uh, is economic development. And uh, uh, <laughs> being able to be successful in the economic, our major limitation is the education level of our working group. And if I'm elected, I'll put the biggest of the focus on protecting and enhancing that our potential college, that our state university, as well as our K-12 education. I anticipate in this next session to see uh, Bill introduce you, rewrite the funding formula for education. And I intend to be a player in that and work for enhancing and increasing the equalization which will be a big benefit for all the students in South Georgia. Our next uh, area that I intend to focus on is bringing a fair pay to the people. I support increasing construction taxes and reducing agricultural taxes and income taxes. And this must be done in a manner to the revenue music. I also intend to be involved in the legislative efforts to maneuver this state through the implementation of Obamacare and do it such a manner that we can protect our smaller hospitals. If we don't keep our smaller hospitals financially solid and they go under, all that intensive care that they've been providing is going to end up in the emergency room of our bigger hospitals. That can be in there. Finally, I want to address the overall area. That hospital is the economic engine for 11 county trade areas in South Georgia. And we need to be focused on 
the entire region. Because anything that improves the economic conditions within this region helps the whole region. And that would be my major focus, and I call it here tonight. Does that mean that Atlanta is a center for the Asian district? Thank you.